Hi, yes, I'm in my electric car again, my Hyundai Ionic Electric Elite 2020 model, and we're going to do an interesting experiment today because I don't think I've ever seen it actually done quite like this. There's a couple of interesting things about electric cars. <laughs> Some of the best things about electric cars, uh, well, one is that they're completely silent. I'm just sitting here, the car's on, there's no vibration, there's no sound. Ah, beautiful. But one of the best things about electric cars is that they have regen or regenerative braking where it actually uses uh, the motor. When you slow down, it uh, gets energy back out of the motor and puts that back into your battery. Because the one thing with ICE cars, internal combustion engine cars, is that, well, all when you apply the brakes, all that energy is wasted in heat. And that just, uh, just bugs me. That's why I love my electric car. And I, I know I put, I use, I drive uh, with regen braking on all the time. When I take my foot off the pedal, instead of just wasting that energy into heat in the uh, disc brakes, it actually puts it back into the battery beautiful and it can really increase your range uh, of your electric vehicle but by how much and you know people throw figures around all the time but I thought that I'd actually measure it because I haven't seen any really comprehensive measurement uh, stuff not under different scenarios so I thought I'd test regen braking under different scenarios and see how effective it is but not only that the other cool thing about electric cars is that they have automatic coasting mode if you turn off the regen braking which you can do on the high on Ionic, you simply turn it off altogether, you don't want it, then uh, when you take your foot off the pedal, the car will just keep rolling. It's, it's basically, it'll just keep going until the momentum runs out. You're only wasting energy in the friction of the tires, the wheel bearings, you know, stuff like that, just, and the air resistance over the car. The Ionic is one of the most uh, aerodynamic cars on the market, by the way. I think coefficient, drag coefficient are like 0.23 or something. It's really good. Anyway, there's basically very little to stop the car actually uh, slowing down. So when you take your foot off, you just keep on coasting. So... When should you use coasting mode and when should you use regen braking mode? Well, I've got my assumptions, but I want to actually test it. So I'm going to compare regen braking with uh, coasting mode over uh, two different scenarios. One big mountainous uh, scenario, huge, coming down up and down mountains. And the other one is just general sort of flat suburban driving. So let's give it a go. Right, so what I want to do first is reset the system. Now, uh, you'll see that the console is all blue. This is in normal mode, and I do most of my driving in normal mode, but we're going to do it in eco mode today. So I'm going to change my drive mode. You'll see it change into red. That's sport mode. That gives you greater acceleration. And we'll do it again, and that'll put us in eco mode. And the other thing we want to do is reset the consumption in uh, kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. None of that imperial rubbish here. We're in Australia, thank you very much that's how we do things so i'm going to reset the the consumption i normally get around normal driving around sydney here is about 10 to 12 uh maybe a bit more kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers i live in here in the hills district in sydney and it's got lots of hills and things it may be a bit more than that may go up to 13 or 14 on a like a really bad uh trip depending on you know but i can get as little as 10 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers just normal driving so we'll see what we get so we'll reset that now, one thing you want to watch is this charge meter over on this side here. Uh, it, see how it's got different colors, blue and then white? Well, it'll normally be in the center. If there's no bars at all, it means I'm not using, like it is now, I'm not using energy, any energy from the battery at all. And if uh, the bars go up, like this, it means that I'm using energy from the battery, I'm accelerating, it's putting energy into the motor. But then if it goes negative like this, it means that it's regen braking and putting charge back into the battery. All right, so I'm going to go on a uh, trip which will combine uh, some motorway driving with typical uh, suburban driving around here. It's not too hilly or anything like that. So we're going to see how it goes. So I'm going to test regen braking first. So what I want to do, let's start the car up. And I've got my flappy paddles here on the side, one on the left, one on the right. If I put the one on the right like this, it'll go into fixed manual mode. And you'll see here, it's got different levels. Uh, we're on level two at the moment, but I can adjust that like this, or I can go all the way down and level zero is regen braking off. So I'm going to put it in full regen braking mode, and I'm going to leave it there for the entire trip. Then I'll do the whole trip again in uh, with no regen braking or coasting mode. 
and we'll see the difference in our consumption. Let's go. So I take my foot off the pedal and as you can see, I'm slow, I'm not using any brake at all and it's slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. I don't, I'm gonna have to accelerate a bit to get to this car, otherwise it'll, it, it doesn't quite fully stop me, but I can actually use, hold down the flappy paddle and it'll pull me to a stop. I Just during general driving, I leave my regen uh, braking on, sometimes on fixed level three, sometimes on auto, and I don't almost hardly ever have to use my brakes. It's fantastic. So I've got my air con uh, turned off, so it is quite warm in here. So yes, I'm sacrificing myself uh, for the good of the data. So, but I found that the air con, because it does have uh, measurement uh, stuff built into the car, and I found that the uh, air con consumption only contributes about 4%. 4 5%, something like that. Uh, I don't ever heat up because this is Australia, um, so we want to cool down. And I find, yeah, 4 or 5% of my uh, of the capacity on, on a trip is taken with the aircon. Depends on the type of trip and the temperature and stuff. But generally, it's not much at all. I was very surprised how little the aircon actually uh, take. Now, I'm not going to use uh, cruise control on the motorway because that will actually disable the uh, regen braking. So I'm going to try and stay on target, stay on target. Unfortunately, there's a bit of traffic on the motorway today. Didn't expect this much. Should have gone earlier. And you'll see that if I take my foot off, then I slow down and it will regen brake. And it knows that I'm in high regen braking, it will actually apply the brake lights uh, to the back, which is uh, really quite smart because you don't want, you know, because when you're doing your single pedal driving, uh, as it's uh, sometimes called using regen braking, i.e., you're not using any brakes, then well, you want your brakes to come on because you're slowing down. Whether or not you're using your brake pedal or you're using regen brake to put the energy back in the battery shouldn't matter. Um, yeah, you want the person behind you to know that you're slowing down. So I'll probably find that I hardly ever have to use the brake at all for this uh, trip. And that's the entire point, is that uh, we're putting as much energy back into the battery as possible. So we'll compare this, we'll compare our consumption figure, we're already under 10 already. We're 9.7 uh, kilowatt hours per 100 Ks, because, well, A, I'm going downhill a little bit, and B, we're on a motorway. So we're, we're doing pretty well, but I'm not using um, any cruise control. And we're down to 8.8 .8 kilowatt hours per 100 Ks. <laughs> Not too shabby. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't get this uh, just around uh, town. As I said, you know, around about 10 would be a typical low figure that I'd uh, get. You can see I'm slowing down, slowing down, and putting charge back into the battery. Beep. Um, there. Go ahead. Please pay for the motorway. Thank you very much. Uh, where's my tax dollars going? See, I'm not using any brakes at all, and I'm just like <laughs> coming to a stop. It's a bit of an art to try and get the uh, the pedal just right, not the brake pedal, but the acceleration pedal. If you just take it off, like if you take it off fully, you come to a stop sometimes too quick. So you want to just yeah, just keep a little bit on it so that you uh, stop just in time. But if you press and hold down the flappy paddle, it'll stop even harder. Like now, I'm, yeah, there we go. No braking whatsoever. And if I want to stop quick, I hold down the flappy paddle, flappy paddle, flappy paddle. Oh, yeah, I didn't really have to use my brake. Beautiful. But sometimes I just have to lightly tap the brake right at the end. Like if I'm, this is just not quite going to stop in time. Just a light touch, but... Yeah, um, I know electric car owners who never had to replace their brakes after, you know, hundreds of thousands of kilometres because you hardly ever use them. Doing pretty good so far. We're still under 9 uh, kilowatt hours per 100 k's, so no worries. I don't expect coasting to be much better than this, uh, so we'll see. See, now there's a few, like, downhill sections like this one, uh, gently downhill, where... Uh, you would benefit from coasting. So I take my foot off the accelerator now, it's I'm slowing down and I'm putting a lot of energy back into that battery. Whereas in coasting mode, I take my foot off the pedal and it wouldn't uh, do that. I would just keep going at the same speed um, all the way down because there'd be very little friction in the tires and the wheel bearings and the uh, air resistance of the car and stuff. So if you're going down a gentle uh, slope, uh, using coasting can get you a free ride, basically. So that's the that's what we're trying to measure. What is the difference between uh, potentially getting when you're going downhill, potentially getting some energy uh, back from your regen, 
or from uh, or is it better just to coast all the way down a mountain for example and we'll do a mountain test after this and we're back uh what do we get 10.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers so there you go you see it did go down to as low as eight point like the lowish eights i think and it actually went up to uh, 12 or 13 at one point or something like that but uh, th this is the average consumption for that entire trip uh, so 10.6 kilowatt hours per 100 k's that's uh, kind of what I expect driving around here with my typical style with regen brakes but now I'm going to repeat the whole test I won't bore you with the details but I'm going to repeat the whole thing with no regen braking so i'm able to coast down those hills instead of trying to like you know balance my foot off the pedal a bit and it's using regen brake and stuff like that so there's no energy going back into the batteries for this trip so let's reset that consumption again and then our flappy paddles all the way to zero no regen braking let's go oh i'm already in gear <laughs> because you have to be in gear to select the uh, regen braking And yes, it did uh, rain during that trip. So just a little bit, but anyway. Oh, got to use my real brakes. I want my flappy paddles. <laughs> it's going to be a habit. I'm going to be using, trying to attempt to use my flappy paddles. I've got to unlearn what I have learned. And already it is a very different experience. Like, draw, like my foot's off the pedal and I'm, like, I've got to, I'm just still accelerating. <laughs> still rolling you just get so used to the regen braking um that it just feels weird so this will be the most um i'll do i'll use more brakes on this uh, one little uh, 30 minute trip than i've used using this entire car since i've had it in what 6400 kilometers so yeah oh we're at 6.2 already is this better look at this look at this oh 9.3 just jumped up damn it and driving on the motorway, it already feels like it feels more efficient. I take my foot off the pedal and I'm I'm still coasting. I'm barely dropping 82, 81, 80. I'm just, yeah. It's, but that's the trade-off uh, with regen braking. Sure, the car's going to slow down fairly aggressively, but that energy does go back into the battery. So, of course, with uh, conversion losses, of course, um, it's not perfect. But it's all about the total trip consumption. So, you know, like we might be doing, might be feeling okay along the uh, motorway like this. Like it, it just, like you take your foot off the pedal and I, like I'm going slightly downhill now and I took, take my foot off the pedal and I'll probably increase speed. No, 93, no, I'm still dropping, but I'm maintaining my speed. I'm maintaining that. So yeah, I, 92, it's barely dropping. I don't have my foot on the accelerator at all because I'm going slightly downhill. I don't know what the gradient is. It'd be uh, one or two percent. It's really, it's really quite small. But no, I have slowed down a little bit, so I'll put a little bit of acceleration into that. But you don't need much; just a tiny touch. And of course, with the uh, flappy paddles, I don't have to take my hands off the wheel to switch between uh, regen braking and coasting mode. I can like fiddle with these uh, flappy paddles uh, to my heart's content and change my driving style uh, based on what I'm actually, uh, change my regen style based on uh, my actual driving. And I do do that. I do sometimes go, right, I'm going all the way downhill for the next 10 Ks or whatever, five Ks or whatever. I'll put it in, I'll force it into level three uh, regen braking. Or if I am coasting along, like this, uh, generally, um, I've often turned uh, regen off. So, but the, if you leave it in auto regen mode, it pretty much does that anyway. So, so I might find that uh, auto actually is the thing to do. Um, that might be the best. You know, I'm taking the two extremes at the moment. Uh, I'm taking you know, level extreme level three regen and coasting. But we're down at eight, eight kilowatt hours per hundred k's. Ah, oh, seven point five. Ah, <laughs> slick as. We're down to seven. 7.0 kilowatt hours per 100 k's not too shabby for relatively flat uh suburban motorway driving oh i had to accelerate there so i was going back up a tad so of course at any one point you could vary between 
like nothing using no energy whatsoever and you know 25 30 or however many it uses uh, in kilowatt hours per 100 k's uh, when you're accelerating so it's the average consumption figure over your entire trip is the thing that matters but the interesting thing is you'll note when I break the charge is going back into the battery so we are getting sort of the best of both worlds of coasting and the regen braking when you actually do use the brakes. So there is charge going back in. I don't know how much it actually um, does like versus if, assuming the bar graph is correct, I think a good lot of it is actually going into the regen braking. Don't know how much actually goes into the brakes, but you know, like I can feel that the brakes are biting, like it is, like you can feel the the disc brakes it feels different to the uh, regen ones especially if you do it you know stop reasonably quickly so the ionic's actually quite smart it uh, will basically use i think regen mode whenever possible and because uh, if i lightly tap the brakes the regen does come on and you can possibly feel it's using the regen instead of the actual disc uh brakes so at what point that kicks in though it certainly is uh, quite different to when you have the level 3 regen on and you actually do the flappy paddle. We were like halfway through the trip and it's doing pretty good. 7.7 .7 kilowatt hours per 100 k's. Uh, that's much better than what we were doing before but we'll get into uh, traffic on the next part of it. So we'll see how it goes then. So on the sort of flattish kind of suburban driving, I don't know, it, it might come out winner. But uh, it is certainly uh, com still getting a bit of regen. So unfortunately, I don't know of a way to actually d totally disable the regen and always 100% use the disc brakes. So I just don't know how much um, it's going back in. But you can feel that uh, you know if you brake reasonably hard, it is using uh, the disc brakes, of course. So I guess level zero is like actually not zero regen. It's just extremely light regen. Well, it's kind of sort of putting a little bit back. So the bar graph may not even be a linear thing. Who knows? And there you have it. 9.9 .9 kilowatt hours per 100 K. So yeah, it's a bit better as I uh, expected. I, I How much margin of error is in there? It gets less and less the longer the trip you do and things like that. But this was quite a reasonable trip. But yeah, as expected, like just around flattish kind of uh, urban roads with a bit of motorway and like back streets and then some you know start stop traffic and things like that all are uh, combined yeah it's better to not have aggressive regen braking on and just have coast mode be interesting to try that in auto mode um but then again that would auto mode then it'd be very specific to the ionic the one thing i do not miss is the soul destroying experience of driving in sydney traffic to work every day <laughs> there's a reason i bought my lab close so i can walk to work uh, not even going to get through these lights. Oh, like this is just, <laughs> this is terrible. Ah, oh. can't believe I used to do this every day.